Chris, so far the evidence is uncontradicted that the president used taxpayer dollars to ask the Ukrainians to help him cheat an election. And I wouldn't be a bit surprised if Congressman Eric Swalwell blasted one out yesterday when the news was released that he had been fang-fanged. Uh, well, he he was a, uh, a, a subject of an operation by a Chinese honeypot spy named Christine Fang. Actually, I believe her Chinese name is Fang Fang. I really prefer Fang Fang. So, anyway, uh, can, now, here's the thing. Can you imagine him? He, a part of the reason why he probably blasted one out yesterday was when he had thought, oh my God, how am I going to explain this to my wife? Yeah. Uh, I think, I think uh, uh, they might have to see a marriage counselor, you know, and he's going to have to explain why uh, a, a Chinese spy who helped him raise money and who is also no, as a, known as a honeypot that he didn't succumb to her, her charms, let's say. But here's the interesting thing. We also find out that Fang Fang had a, a much bigger operation and that uh, two of her targets uh, that were Midwest mayors that she raised money for and uh, probably the fang fanged, if you know what I mean. Now, the, the, the his thing is we can actually narrow it down a little bit. Uh, first of all, it's gotta be a major city in the Midwest. Like for example, uh, I don't think she's gonna waste her time on a mayor of say Akron or Ohio or Peoria, Illinois. No, it's a major city. Now, I mentioned Ohio because we know for sure that one of the targets of the two was uh, a mayor of Ohio, because the uh, we FBI surveilled her and uh, they caught her having uh, fang fanging with the uh, <laughs> with the mayor in a car. And uh, he now he was a lot older than her, so he was like wondering, you know, what what do you see in me? He asked her, you know, what do you see in me? And she says, oh, I, I just uh, I'm interested in improving my English, so. That's sort of one clue. He's uh, kind of older than her. So, you know what? Let's play Sherlock Holmes. Let's look at a list of uh, major uh, mayor, may, uh, mayors of major Midwest cities, keeping in mind that one of the suspects has to be a mayor of an Ohio city. Uh, so let's look at the uh, a list of uh, mayors and see if you can determine who were the two mayors that were fang fanged. And by the way, just because she fang fanged two of them uh, doesn't mean that there was, I'm sure, I mean, come on, you think she's the only honeypot spy from China? They might have had a, a Ching Ching or a Chong Chong, you know, so other mayors or other uh, uh, U.S. politicians could have been, uh, <laughs> let's say, Ching Ching or Chong Chong. So for right now, let's go look, let's play Sherlock Holmes and see, uh, uh, look at our list of suspects of the Midwest mayors. All right, we're gonna look at the first possible suspect, the mayor of the biggest city of Ohio, which is Cleveland. Oh, and by the way, my former hometown, many, many years ago. Anyway, Frank Jackson. Okay, so here, here's one thing that's interesting. I born 1946, so that makes him 74 years old. That would fit in with him being a lot older than uh, than the Fang Fang uh, honeypot. Uh, and he was definitely mayor. He's been mayor. He's still mayor. He's been mayor since January 2nd, 2006. Keep in mind that uh, the Fang Fang honeypot was operating between the years uh, 2011 and 2015. So this fits right in with the time period. So, okay, that's uh, suspect number one, the mayor of Ohio, of Cleveland, rather. Uh, Frank Jackson. So now let's look at another Ohio mayor. We go to the other end of the state, of to the mayor of Cincinnati during that time period. Uh, actually, he's still I, he's still mayor. He's he's been mayor since 2013. Uh, now, and this is John Cranley. Uh, now he's born 74, it makes him a little bit younger. And he, let's see, at the time he would have been honeypotted, he would have been 
just uh, like 41, 41 years old at the most. So maybe the age difference isn't so much. However, he does, I mean, look look at the picture here. He does have a, a sort of a nerd vibe. It's, it just seems like, why why are you interested in someone uh, in me? What You know, it's, it seems like a question he would ask, uh, you know, uh, so who knows? So let's just put him down as suspect number two from Ohio. Remember, Ohio, we know for sure one of these uh, one of these mayors, I'm going to go to the third one now. I'm pretty sure one of the three mayors that we're going to discuss is is the culprit or one of the culprits. Um, assuming that, you know, Fang Fang didn't absurdly go after the mayor of Akron or Toledo. And finally, we have Michael B. Coleman, who was the mayor of Columbus, Ohio, from 2000, the year 2000 to the year 2016. Uh, let's see, when was he born? 1954. So he would have been uh, somewhere around 60 years old at the time of their encounter. Yes, yes, definitely. He, uh, he, uh, he could have been the, uh, the man that was wondering why uh, Fang was interested or Fang Fang was interested in him when we were older. Now, keep in mind also, one thing going for Columbus, a lot of people don't know this, but Columbus, I heard this on the Joe Rogan show, Columbus, Ohio is considered the swingers capital of the country. I, I, I Believe me, it's, it's like an underground thing, but a, swinging is a real big thing in uh, Columbus, Ohio. And so I could I could definitely see them. Although why why they just didn't get a hotel room? I don't know. He was they were in a a, a car. Uh, <laughs> you're the mayor of a major city, and you're fooling around in the back seat, or maybe it was the front seat of a car. So that's uh, that's our three suspects uh, from uh, from Ohio. Uh, now let's go on to neighboring Indiana. And now we're in a rather unusual situation. A Midwest mayor who is of a major city that's actually a Republican. Uh, this is uh, Gregory Ballard. And Greg Ballard. And he was mayor right in that time period, 2008 to 2016. And I'm not so sure he was honeypotted. And it's, it's not necessarily because he's a Republican. It's that... He, he kind of, his election, uh, give you a little history, it was considered one of the biggest political upsets in uh, Indiana political history uh, uh, when he won. He won, uh, when he ran, no Republican wanted to run against the uh, current uh, Democrat mayor who was considered to be unbeatable, yet he beat him. Uh, also, he was in the Marines for like uh, 23 years or whatever. Um, uh, all right, we'll put him as a possible suspect, but I, I'm, and again, it's not because he was a Republican, because believe me, um, I have no doubt uh, about those uh, Georgia officials getting uh, fang fanged or ching ching or chong chong, you know, so that they would install the uh, uh, Dominion systems in every county in, um, in, uh, in Georgia. But Okay, we'll put him down as a possible suspect, just just because he was a mayor of a major Midwest city in the uh, 2011 to 2015 time frame. Now we go on to the next major uh, may, uh, Midwest city mayor. All right, the mayor of Detroit, and I'm shocked, shocked. Oh, not not that so much uh, whether he was. Uh, Fang fanged or not? Actually, <laughs> more shocking than finding out that that he was the one of the uh, mayors that was fang fanged is uh, that he's a, as a white mayor of Detroit. How the hell did that happen? I mean, uh, you know what? If I found out that he was fang fanged, uh, and it could have happened, he let's see, assumed office January first, twenty fourteen. Yeah, it's it's within that time frame. Uh, that would that would uh, that would shock me uh, 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 less than than how the hell he he got to be mayor of uh, Detroit. He's a, he's a Democrat, but still, you know what what is this white is uh, definitely a white guy, a mayor of, of Detroit. I, I I never I didn't know that. I just assumed the uh, that the mayor wasn't. White. And by the way, 
Um, what does this guy know about uh, the the middle of the night uh, ballot counting? Yeah, Wayne County. All right, so uh, I have he's down for as another suspect, but like I say, that's not actually. Even if he it turned out that he was one of them, that wouldn't be the most shocking thing about him. Here's a name that should be familiar with to most of us: Rahm Emanuel. He was the mayor of Chicago from 2011 to 2019. That uh, is, uh, and uh, Fang Fang's uh, time frame fits right into that. Now, Chicago's a big city. I mean, what is it now? Number three in the United States, whatever it is. It used to be the second city. But also, even more importantly, Rahm Emanuel is a big, big, big power broker in uh in the, in the Democrat Party. So he would be an obvious target. The only question I have is, is he a little bit out of uh, Fang Fang's league, you know, honeypotting? Uh, you know, uh, would her charms work on him? I mean, the other thing is, uh, he's, a, he's a big money raiser. But, you know, one thing says, nah, he doesn't really need her to raise money. But on the other hand, this is, Never lets an opportunity go to waste, or never let a crisis go to waste. Could be an opportunity. And so would he turn down money from uh, a source? I'm not so sure. Uh, and also, as far as being a honeypot, you'll be surprised. I mean, come on, look. Uh, the, 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 uh, remember Bill Clinton and the intern? Okay, so yeah, it's definitely possible. This definitely he puts me towards he puts this puts Rahm Emanuel towards I'm not saying he he definitely is one of the two but this puts him towards the top of the list as far as I'm concerned Rahm Emanuel and man that's a lot of influence there the Chinese would have if you got Rahm Emanuel bag man you got a lot of a lot of a lot of goodies bag there so yeah definitely Rahm Emanuel is definitely somebody of interest Okay, we come to Mayor of Milwaukee. Eh. All right, so this this guy here, uh, let's see, Tom Barrett. He's been mayor since 2004. It's possible, you know, you know, who knows? I mean, uh, I don't know. I don't really see. Although he, you know what? The interesting thing is he did run for a uh, governor. Uh, actually, twice uh, he he ran for governor against Walker and then against him again in the recall election, twice, and lost both times. So eh, maybe there was something to it. You know, I don't have him towards the top of my list though. So far, the top of my list is uh, I would say to if I had to narrow it down right now, it looks like Mayor of Cleveland Frank Jackson and. Okay, Rahm Emanuel. I mean, that's that's just my opinion. You, you can have yours. Maybe there's something about Barrett. I don't know. So now we're going to go to the last <laughs> and probably least would be Minneapolis, Minnesota. And finally, Minnesota. Now, <laughs> if it had been the incumbent mayor, uh, the incumbent mayor, Fry, well, he only started in 2018. He was only elected in 2018. So well, you know what? Between me and you, I don't see him as as uh, honeypot material. But forgetting that, we had R. T. Ry Raymond T. Ryback, or Reback, whatever. Uh, mm, nah, I don't know. I'm just not considering this guy. I never. I, I'll be honest. I never heard of this guy before. Uh, Democrat, obviously, Democrat. Yeah, he sends the kids to private schools. Yeah, well, that's another thing. But anyway, uh, could it have been him? All right, we got him. Just we have him on the list here. R. T. Ryback. So that uh, that pretty much concludes my list uh, of mayor. I'm pretty sure one of the mayor. We already know one of them is from Ohio. It's got to be probably one of those three that I listed. Uh, and uh, and uh, in one other, uh, and could this guy Ryback have been one of the one other? It's it's possible. Uh, I think I think Rahm Emanuel. There's a lot more to work with there. I mean, man, if you can honey pot uh, Rahm Emanuel, you got you got yourself a pot of gold, not just honey. 
So that's my that's my list of uh, Midwest mayors. More than likely, two of them are are um, two of the perps are on this list, and uh, maybe we'll find out. I mean, I'm sure the FBI knows, but uh, uh, well, they know one for sure. They know who that Ohio mayor is, so I'm sure they know who the other one is. So, so two of these mayors, we we know were fang fanged. Now, as I said, they could have been others that were maybe Ching Ching or Chong Chong by other uh, Chinese honeypot spies. And by the way, not necessarily limited to the Midwest or even to the Democrat Party. I mean, you know, there are Republicans, believe it or not, that are as corrupt as the Democrats. Let's, for example, uh, uh, Georgia. I mean, uh, uh, what are the possibilities that the uh, the governor, the secretary of state, or the uh, uh, Lieutenant Governor Zoolander, the male model, uh, uh, Jeff Duncan, they could have been, I'm sure, uh, they could have been ching ching or chong chong into approving. Can you believe it? Every single county in Georgia, it's the only state in the union, every single county has Dominion uh, voting systems. So there's that possibility. So anyway, uh, we'll find, hopefully we'll find out uh, which, which of the two... Uh, uh, Midwest mayors were fang fang. So uh, I'll leave off with this uh, uh, blast from the past. See you later. Chris, so far the evidence is uncontradicted that the president used taxpayer dollars to ask the Ukrainians to help him cheat an election.